right, how are you? And welcome to yet another exciting episode of uh, Churchill Show Journey Series Edition. And what what support you've given us to now appreciate Sana so much love. By the way, the interviewer CK, we've had so many calls. Uh, he called me to tell me he was called by over six president. And of course, my good friend, uh, uh, Zambia president, Edgar Lungu. Uh, from Zambia, Santa Sana for always watching the show and following us uh, in what we're trying to do here. Hope to visit Zambia one of these fine days. Now, uh, today we have an exciting show and thank you so much for the feedbacks and comments and suggestions about who you want to see on the show. Na tutajaribu sana to Zambia to see if they can come and share their beautiful journey with us. Now today happens to be one of those days I feature a friend of mine, <laughs> a very good friend of mine, uh, uh, that I followed for many years uh, before I tell you who he is. It's about football, first of all. He's coached our national team for quite a um, number of years. Nani Kikumbuka Mali Mpire Kenya Ilianza. I wish we could go back to what's happening in uh, Tanzania. Ile support Yanga Inapata, na Simba, you know, Gormaya and AFC when they were playing, even Sikuza Motko and Reunion and Volcano. Every region had a football team and football was very, very serious. Ata Machako Skulguan Zamaku na East Africa Portland Semen, football was a movement. Na tumetokambali sana. I know we are trying to jazz a study. I hope to jazz a study. The passion will go back. I hope we're going to have good leadership in football so that Rudy Tena is a NZ Ambazo Mpira will come to Shimika. Mbaka Mbashabi kualikuwa na line-up. Wanajua nani atacheza mpira leo. They know. Top mpaka unajua. That movement. The same way it's happening in Tanzania. And of course, Uganda is following suit. So today I happened to meet uh, one of the gentlemen. Ambali Tupeleka, Africa Cup of Nation. Good friend of mine. I know you love him. Now he's transitioned to radio. This is the amazing story, beautiful story of Harambe Stars coach. And now radio presenter, Jacob Ghost Mule. Come along. Coaches, hivyo ndo wananiita Jacob Ghost Mule, ndiyo jina langu. Mgini wanuliza Ghost, hili Ghost ni toko wapi. Hiyo ni story nda kupatia, but born in Mta, born in Jericho, T9418. By the way, juzi nilikuwa, nilikuwa nalipa nyumba yetu ya Jerry, pale <laughs> Makadara. Hiyo ni responsibility my late mama alinipatiaga na sijawahi fail kwa sababu hiyo nyumba ikienda hata mimi na feel like yangu itakimbia. So mimi ni mse nilizaliwa Jerry na that time Jerry football was religion. Juu tulikuwa tunacheza every weekend. Uh, pale T9418 ndio mtaa wangu lakini tulikuwa na kama toyoyo sasa hii watu wanajua kama kama toyoyo ilikuwa inaitwa wanjo so hapo ndio sasa mimi nilianza my football career. Uh, nilisomea Fafa Jericho Secondary School. In fact, nilisoma St. Michael Primary, alafu nikaenda Fafa Jericho Secondary, alafu Fafa Jericho High School. Yaani sijawahi kula fair. Ati umesare buko nda umemwepa. Hiyo nayo nimetembea kutoka. <laughs> nimetembea kutoka nikiwa class 1 mpaka 11 nikimaliza form 6. Sasa hapo mwisiki ambaye lakini unajua ni kwa sababu ya story bingi tu. So I'm the sixth born, uh, family of 11. Now we remain seven uh, of a single mother. So unaweza imagine mko mnaishi jeri kwa keja mko watu wengi. Bedroom kuna upstairs na downstairs. Double decker. Eh, Kiko joa, <laughs> watu wa chini wanapata shida. <laughs> Hell you're your reality. Eh, na sembe tukwa tunapika sembe, unga pakitia 2 kg. Eh, unakuja pale, mother asha organize. Sasa hapo ni speed and surprise. Mi by the way vitu moto. Chakula moto tukikula na wewe uwezi to bwa. Juu mimi nimeshazo ya vitu moto moto na lazima urudi shule. Umepigwa uganga saa saba. Eh. Na lazima mmalize na murudi chuo chap chap mbio mbio. Kwa hivyo ni kwa asol. So mi kwanza nataka kushukuru sana madangu. Juu endo ni bring up na discipline. Discipline. Lakini pia kuna the other side. Ngi kwa napigwa nisicheze ball nika chop. Jua alikuwa anasema ball ndio inafanya nisi pate masomo vizuri. Nilikuwa ga number 1 to number 8 lakini anasema ukiwa cha ball unakuwa tu number 1. Lakini na mimi ball iko kwa damu. Sasa hiyo conflict ilikuwa ga ni noma sana. By the time madangu alikuwa na daddy 
mi ball ndio nitafutia job sijawahi kuna ofisi ya mtu tunatafuta job hapana na ndio ball ndio god ni bless nayo alafu niko na blessing nyingine kwa sababu nikicheza pale jeri hiyo wanjo soka mtoyo saa hii sasa hizo ndio harambe stars ilikuwa inafanya mambos and marshal mulwa uh, mamuda bas was my idol and kwa nenda kuruka stadium nikienda kumwacha kicheza game na niko na bahati kwa sababu Mamuda Abbas alikuwa idol wangu naenda kumwacha say ni friend yangu actually is my best friend right now my mentor wa football the late of father god rest his soul in eternal peace yeye ndo alianza kunipeleka Arambe Stars na mimi nikiwa mtoto nikasema nataka siku moja kuwa coach wa Arambe Stars jani yangu ya kuwa coach nafikiri yai kuanza at 2 hivi ilianza nikiwa form 3 <coughs> juu nikiwa form 2 kulikuwa na Kadenge Cup ambaye sasa hii ni Coca Cola Cup Uh, na ilikuwa very fine kwa sababu hiyo hizo games ukiwa form 1 ama form 2 ndio unacheza lakini pia kulikuwa na kikwazo kingine lazima uwe 50 kg ama below na tulikuwa tunachezea ga Nairobi school sasa wewe una, una check weight yako ukiona ni kama uko 49 50 hakuna breakfast juu ukishafanywa weigh in tu hivi uh, bread imetembea ushapiga 49 ushapiga loaf yako na soda hiyo ndio ilikuwa sasa dish hiyo machua ama maziwa So nimecheza hiyo game Kadenge Cup tukashinda kama player nikiwa form 2 form 3 mimi nikatekova kama coach wa hiyo Kadenge Cup na nakumbuka tukaenda Nairobi school nikashinda my first trophy kama coach nikiwa third form na nakumbuka ni maza shule hivi Kadenge the late Mungu wa um, rest his soul in peace Joe Kadenge alikuja kuni approach niteze AFC kama striker kama winger lakini nikasema sikuwa na hizo 86 volcano the first semi professional side ikafomwa hapa Kenya nilichaguliwa kama one of the goalkeepers volcano ikaja kwa, kwa story story ilipigwa war lakini nakumka before tupigwa war tulikuwa tunafunga timu zote hapa Kenya tulicheza game moja na FC Moy Golden Cup tukafunga FC tu nili kwa floodlights lakini unajua baada hiyo kwa kwa story mingi mimi kwanza nikatoka volcano nikaingia reunion 1987 controversy ndio zikaanza kunifuata jury ilikuwa ni timu moja poa sana na hapo tulikuwa na Abbas alafu Siyanga marehemu James Siyanga alikuwa pia coach wangu kutoka ri nika suspend wa one year njoo kupitisha haki yangu kutoka ri nika kawani ya Kenya Airways nikacheza kekoso kutoka hapo Tasca sasa Tasca hapo ndio mambo ikaanza kama goalkeeper fourth goalkeeper nilichukua kama third goalkeeper kulikuwa na Joseph Kibera marehemu Swalengoi alafu na mimi nikashinda Sekafa 1989 na Tasca baada ya Tasca nimekaa Tasca for long nika take over home pale unajua mke watu wengi pia kuna mambo mengi madangu alikuwa ni generous lakini strict mbaya kwa sababu kwanza lazima usome biblia hiyo nayo ilikuwa lazima eh vitu kama proverbs ilikuwa sema eh muleba Mungu wa buku ya yenyewe Proverbs methali mm, na alikuwa jua Kiswahili eh tunafungua methali Proverbs na ijua karibu yote offered alafu ile setup ya jioni mkikula lazima mkuwe pamoja lakini sasa kulikuwa na shida moja mimi nilikuwa lazima nicheze ball liwe ni walo na madangu kwa timing alikuwa mnoma so tunakula vizuri tumepoa brother zangu sister zangu madangu alikuwa tu anaudiza kisiri kama nilicheza bola akiambiwa haizi kukuset you siku mimi nilikuwa napigwa 6 in the morning eh unasikia chuma pa pa ameanza chuma ya beta hii kwa hiyo chuma ilikuwa sasa sisi tumetengeneza beta sasa hiyo chuma ndio inakupi unaamuka una eh ndika ambela sitarudia sitarudia kucheza bola eh na kwa hiyo ndo kaambela au kamovela na kwa hiyo eh lakini nimepigwa hivyo jioni kuna game ya shule ah niko ndani sasa siri ilikuwa nikishacheza si unajua umeparara miguu uko kwa neighbor unaoga miguu ndio kuja sasa home poa lakini brother zangu kwa kuniseti yenyewe nimepigwa jua kucheza ball ndio kwa sababu si kuachaga ball na mimi nilikuwa number one up to eight hapo nilikuwa nachezea lakini kitu ikafanyika nikaingia mix school unajua mko na madem kwa shule nikatoka sasa number one to eight nikafika 18 nakumbuka report form nilicheza nayo hiyo siku ya kufunga shule juu sijui kama nda ndarabio 1 ama ni 8 juu ndakuwa na ngori siku moja nilirab zote zikatoka 
1 na 8 zote zikatoka. <laughs> Sasa report form haina namba. Hiyo ndio siku nilijua sijui. Juma madangu tumethibiti kwa shule nilipigwa vita ingine. Unajua kule wana single mother si mchezo. You are bringing a single mom ilikuwa na challenges. Sasa ngine mazia muna dish mnaangaliana. Eh lakini siku za chapo ndio ulikuwa na fry. Manake chapo na yeye mlikuwa mnapika unga kama mbili. Lakini brother yangu naye ile mnasabua chapo nusu nusu lazima iende kwake. Isipoenda kwake madhi akienda. Hapo <laughs> mshatugua wao mmoja mbaya. So ilikuwa abiding moja kulikuwa na love kwa Keja lakini hatuna yeye. Na ndio kwa sababu sisi mimi hata nikikosa kesho sio nagi ni kama kitu because ume grow na nothing but ume grow na love. Kuna love ndani ya Keja mko wengi, ugali kikuja mna share. Kwa hivyo sharing sisi huaga watu wengi kwa familia yangu wanashangaanga. Mtu akiniambia ah ghost mzee hiyo mbota ni noma na mbaya sio chukue tu mbota kuna shida. Hiyo si shida yangu yani kupatia material thing kwa sababu hatukuwa nayo. Sasa yuko nayo unataka kunyima mtu nini? So nafikiri ilikuwa a very good experience. Kuna stories zinaita Ghost Bee for the Figa. Hiyo nayo madangu alikuwa ni kama ana ana, ana play both. Ju discipline alikuwa wa 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 wa. wa. Na nafikiri hiyo ndio discipline pia mimi imenifanya nikakuwa maliniko na pia niki handle Rambe Stars discipline ilikuwa ni ni kama second nature yangu. Kitu kama kwa the time ilikuwa gani kitu moja ukifail kwa time. Kuna mseni shamrudisha kutoka TZ alichelewa mara tatu nikamwambia the next plane uko. Akaambia ah coaches wacha mchezo. Nikamwambia mzee kesho unaishia Nairobi. Kwa hivyo hizo ni vitu values una grow nazo kutoka kwa Amazon kwa sababu unataka ku respect sana. Eh, kwa sababu hata hii mwaka tuna celebrate 25th anniversary yake. Thank you so much for coming through Zaneti Men. Get noticed. This is all Zaneti. Minus kitambi. <laughs> This is all Zaneti. Ama hii ni Obudesco. <laughs> you find all those amazing menswear at Zaneti. Follow them right here for all the best class. All locations for men. The place to be. Zaneti. Africa to the world. Welcome back uh, Church and Show Journey Series Edition of course with a super coach super talented personality one of my best friend my goodness legend living treasure in Kenya that we have uh, Ghost Mole our coaches in the covers <laughs> <laughs> in the gamma study in the gamma study Wajen bana waja we twas the interview We sasa tuna lang kwanza So in the gamma in the gamma study in the gamma zilito hadi kwanza Hiyo ni za nipandisa za mtaa Eh so in the gamma study in the gamma snudes in the marge you are in the ocio you to show ngea You dey slando. You dey slando. Eh, in the gabas. Hajua kare ni hai. In the gabas. In the gabas na this. The ghost is dog happy jina. Ghost. Ghost ni jina imetoka kitambo sana. Eh. Unajua ni kuajirika mtu yoyo pale ilikuwa inaitwa wanjo so. Eh. Sasa pale ilikuwa goalkeeper. Eh. Alafu kukuwa na neti. Eh. Sasa watu wakipiga ball na piga massive massive. Eh. Ah, watu wana argue imeingia ama imetoka. Eh. <laughs> ah, Akasema huni ghost. Bila na same ball, huni eh. ghost. Huni gamas. <laughs> <laughs> so ball imeanzia pale pale Island Wanjo so. So how do you transition from a player to coach? I think it's passion yeah. number one. Yeah. kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa na ji believe kama mchezaji mnoma yeah. kama goalkeeper yeah. ngaje sengine nilikuwa striker yeah. but your passion ya game yeah. nilikuwa naona ni kama sipo opportunity yeah. enough yeah. ya kucheza yeah. so na mimi nikasema ah siwezi wacha ball hivyo yeah. mimi nataka sasa kuwa coaches lakini tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya ile persistence yeah. na consistency yeah. eh tukakuwa coach wa Tasker mm. kidogo kidogo tukafanya kazi na Fabish kama assistant mm alipofutwa kidogo nikapoa job yeah. kukakuwa na lot of stories huyu jamani kijana mdogo awezani yeah. na arambeni yeah. lakini kwa na faith na una pressure ja yeah. au na pressure yeah. the rest si ni sahii ndo tuko hapa 
Hebu ni kuulize coaches. Waje mimi ushindwa. Mm. You pata my excuses kwa player and how do you choose a very good player talent? In a talent ni kitu moja uwezi feature. Mm. If somebody is talented is talented. Yeah. Ju Muse makwa sports akunanga siri ati kuna CV. Yeah. Hata game tu fans wanajua. Unajiona stand fans wako hivi. Eh, Coaches. Eh by the way watasema waki na new skiza. Wewe yeah. usikizi lakini kuna sayi nyingine eh. especially kwa ni coach wa gor. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Uspomtrow tatolewa kwa hiyo bench. So eh. kuna time nyingine pressure inakuwa. Na, na, na sasa hiyo ma fans wakisema hivi wa wana, wanajua ama coach wanajua huyu jamaa mpatie time. Ah kuna kuna incident tofauti tofauti. Mm. Kuna player anaweza fanya mistake zingine. Eh. Yuko kwa game lakini yuko kwa game. Eh. Na wewe kama coach maybe hata uko usha decide eh. nani anato. Eh. Play fans wa Shalus patience wameanza hivi <laughs> lakini wacha hata uko usha sema nani atoke. Number 12 atoke. Eh. Lakini fans sasa wanafikiri ni wao wamefanya umtoe. <laughs> But already uko usha decide atato. Kwa hivyo wanasema kama tungeambia coach a substitute hii eh. game tunge lose. <laughs> the weakness moja players ni the most talented them are the most in discipline it you happens have an incident i have a, a lot of incidences see mm. one mm. that uh, unapata mtu uko very talented mm. na nimejaribu kufanya hiyo research mm. lakini unapata kuna weakness fulani yako nayo mm. akingi akiwanjani mm. is the best player mm. Of the pitch yeah. is also best in other things that is not supposed to be best <laughs> in the gabas <laughs> the gabas nadis <laughs> so wagani yeah. is a, is, a, is a, okay kuna talent yeah. na kuna discipline yeah. but not quite discipline kuna weaknesses naweza sema za wachezaji fulani yeah. off the pitch lakini yeah. ni unaona club kubwa mm. uwaga sangine lazima muwe na psychologist kwa team mm. ule na juzi england ilienda iceland yeah a vijana wadogo wali misbehave mm. so it's not only happening in africa but kenyan players yeah. it's all over the world kwa hivyo ni kitu moja mpaka leo wanajaribu kufanya research yeah. how do you handle such yeah. so out of all those matches let's start with taska which was the biggest win kuna games kadha mm. kwa taska kuna game moja na kumbuka vizuri sana ya kagame cup yeah. uh, 2000 tukicheza rwanda yeah uh, your game tulianda Rwanda tukacheza first game tuka draw na APR yeah. final tukacheza na APR yeah. na president Kagame yuko pale yeah. sasa hii ni game moja yani ise sini finals finals eh sasa lazima mfanye majambo yeah, yeah. uh, tulifunga APR 3-1 wa na sasa hiyo tulikuwa na team imeiva kuiva kwa sababu nakumbuka kulikuwa na John Mwirore yes. kulikuwa Robert Mambo yes. kulikuwa na Edward Karanja yeah. yani uh, Franklin Obare ilikuwa ni team complete mm. na walikuwa wakifunga bao yeah. wanaenda kufanya match past kwa Kagame ah hapo center stand we so tulifunga APR 3-1 hiyo ndio tukachukua my first trophy as, uh, kama Kagame Cup bana yake nimechukua hii trophy mara tatu na walichukuliaje Kagame in fact ali, ali sana nataka kununua John Mwirore yeah. akisema hajawahi kuona player kama huyo yeah. because John alikuwa exceptional talent yes. so hiyo game mpaka leo sijawahi kuisahau na John ako John yuko yuko majuu saizi okay. ana, anaishi Ulaya mm. kwa hivyo lakini yuko kamkam the one of the best talents ambazo nimeweza ku coach mm. natural talent natural talent mm. Mm. kwa hivyo hiyo game uh, I just wake come out of my mind. Yeah. B- before we talk about Arabi Stars na ku qualify and congratulations to the Africa Cup of Nations. Uli coach uh, Rwanda. Yes. APR. APR Rwanda. Yes. Mhm. How was that? Well, Rwanda nilifika hivi mm. kama coach wa APR nilipata shida mingi lakini <laughs> unajua shida ndio ufanya mtu ana machua. Yeah. Maana yake nilipoenda APR nilikuwa najua ni club kubwa. Yeah nikikuja napata jamaa anavaatisha tofauti yeah, nini yeah. lakini nikakuwa patient yeah. nilikaa kama four months yeah. sijachotoa mshahara lakini nilipokuwa na meeting sasa nataka nimetaka kuondoka nikakuwa na meeting na chief of general staff ambaye sasa ndio alikuwa mbusu wa team yeah. nikamuelezea matatizo ya club na kuna wali aliandika yeah. ukisikia mtu wa CGS chief yeah. of general staff achana na watu yeah. Jioni alitisha meeting ya mm. timu nzima mm. asema I've talk, spoken to your coach is A B C D he wants imagine hiyo jioni tu alitia timu na ile mambo yote nilimwambia karudia mm. na siku hiyo APR ka change kwa ni timu moja kubwa nilikuwa na one of the best times kwa APR mm. nilishinda hiyo league 
tukafika sekafa finali na ulikuwa unaongea kiwandis eh bali kwa bana nini taga ndo kocha wa timu ya Apere niko naongeaga juu wanasema Kiswahili wako na toa mubarabara eh sasa huu ndo kocha wetu kifanye eti sasa siku moja wacheza wengi wakaniambia kocha kesho kuko na mfete tunataka utuuzie pombe niko uza niko uza sasa kwani niko na ba yani tunataka utuuzie kinywaji kubwa na maanisha utununulie tunaongea kama rivers so kiswahili ilikuwa inachanganya lakini tuko tunabaelewa tuko tunaendeleaga juu tutafanyaga aje harambe stars africa cup of nations Hey, what are the qualifying the last game? Mm. Tulicheza la was it Kavad? Kavad. Mm. Mm. Kasarani, Kasarani. Last minute. 85th minute. Dennis Oliet. Unajua kuna kitu cha chiluju. Before game ya Kavad, mm. unajua tulikuwa tumeenda Mauritania mm. na Ghana. Yeah. Ku camp Ghana. Mm. Lakini kule Ghana, yeah. Mauritania kwanza tukimaliza, wali tutreat vizuri sana. Yeah. Sasa siku ya game tulikuwa na five days maximum mm. according to FIFA rules then tunaweza yeah. kule five days. Yeah. Na jamaa katukaribisha five star hotel vizuri tukakaa poa. Yeah. Meeting iko leo usiku game ni ke yes. match commissioner anakuja kwa meeting Kenya. Oh very good. Yeah. Very happy. Mm. Nice everything mm. okay? Okay. okay? Okay. Kumbe atukuja jamaa wako na mtego. Yeah. Before to end the game yeah. sijui walifanya nini. Yeah. <laughs> hey, tunatoka tu hivi kwa hotel tunaenda study. Yeah. Kila mtu anaendesha. <laughs> Tena serious, unarudi kwa room, unakaa pale. Mpaka kocha. Mpaka kocha. Hakuna mtu na tunaenda game. Eh. Hao jamaa wali kwa noma. Eh. Wanajua ku time. Eh. Wachezaji wengine na kuambia walicheza ni kama wako na napi kwa nini wali kwa mejifunga. Na hii game ilikuwa ni noma. Hiyo eh. game ilikuwa inataka nini? Eh. Point moja. Eh. Mimi nikienda hiyo game ya Mauritania eh. na game ya Togo, eh. juu tulikuwa tumeenda tumepanga na federation ati eh. watatukutania Ghana. Eh. Mauritania wachezaji wangu nataka kuwa recommend mpaka leo. Mm. Na hiyo story yote ya kuendesha eh. tulichukua one point. Great. Na hiyo ndio tulikuwa tunataka eh. away. Juu eh. tulikuwa sasa tumebakisha game mbili six points. Yeah. Tucheze na Togo kwao, eh. alafu tucheze na Kavada hapa. Mm hapo ndio kulikuwa noma tukifika Ghana hakuna <laughs> mtu airport wa, 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 wa federation could receive hakuna mtu akut receive eh. na wasee wametoka kufanya nini kuendesha huko <laughs> wasee wako mbaya sasa mimi kama coaches ukiwa coach wa Rambe eh. squeeze afadhali sasa squeeze ya Rambe iko na organization eh. lazima uwe na credit card na lazima uwe na pesa kwa sababu eh. sasa ingine unaweza wacha kwa matana wachezaji sasa kufika Ghana hakuna mtu mm. nikafikiria nikaenda nje nikaangalia kuna hoteli fulani eh juu jamaa ameshasikia ubao e. kwanza tukitoka Mauritania kulikuwa na kudi ta e. sasa tumefika wachezaji wa coaches ni aje kuna endaje e. officials wako wapi e. mimi nishaenda nishangalia mahali restaurant nikaambia jamaa nini this restaurant akasema ni saa kambi wachezaji tuendeni tukasosi jua kulikuwa na ubao e. baada ile story ya Mauritania e, unaongea nao na kiki ki, West Africa kimta jamaa wangu wa Kenya e. lakini nishonge na jamaa mmoja mwa West Africa pale nikamsa is a good hotel ya e, is that a good hotel is a place that you can eat okay e, e. so tukakaa vizuri tunakula e, nini e, e, watu wana sosi huyu jamaa sasa na see wa welcome huyu wa see ule ule alionyesha hotel amekaa na mimi anani akaka kaka nikamwambia take sky sky ni bia ya huko mm. kidogo anaangalia kan kochi yeah. which team is this yeah. <laughs> nikamwambia national team of kenya ah my uh, brother eh. are you serious eh. <laughs> nikamzawai eh. the national team yeah. eating here eh. no 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 no, no. Eh. it's not possible with black stars oh. eh. Yo gana national team yao. Eh. Yaani anasema hiyo hoteli ni machwara. Eh. Mnakula hapa? Eh. Ah no. Sasa tukapata mkenya mmoja anaitwa Njeru, eh. Albert Njeru. Eh. Akakuja nikama tukamwambia president ametutuma kwako. Eh. Akasema what do you mean? Tukamwambia tumetuma kwako. Jua kuna federation official. Eh. Uzuri Mungu ni mkubwa. Wewe jamani kwa ni hoteli ya. Eh. Akapiga simu. Mm tukae ku receive wa kote di fulani yeah. eh noma ilizuka huko players wakaniambia coaches wewe pia hii team si nyanya nyako ni yeah. nini yeah. turudi Kenya yeah. hii mashtatizo yote ni ya nini eh yeah. eh yeah. no just players wakisema wamesema yeah. nikwambia okay sawa but tusipocheza na Togo 
basi atuiste za Kevard mm. tutatolewa na FIFA na nani na CAF tutatolewa yeah. kwa qualifiers yes. but sijakata hata mimi niko ready kurudi Kenya but fanyeni hivi juu weekend Togo wanacheza na na Kavad kule nini wanacheza na Kavad huko uh, Togo yes alafu sasa sisi tutacheza na Togo alafu ndio tukuja kucheza na Kavad Nairobi yeah. so nikaambia wachezaji nyinyi tulieni kwa hoteli yeah. on monday mimi ndakuja niko ready na bag zangu to change ticket tutacheza tutaenda Togo mm. best yangu sasa slide ndio tulikutana huko tukaenda tukirudi nikakuja na bag zangu on monday asubuhi kwa meeting nikaambia players mjue kama tutarudi Kenya mm. hatutacheza hata na Kavad kama tujacheza na Togo mm. kwa hivyo mudecide mimi sitaki kwa decide asemi mm. mesema nataka kurudi yeah. mtajilipia 50 dollars ya siju kuchange ticket haina mm. noma yeah. so asubuhi nimeingia na bag meeting kwa bi okay guys i have my bags here I have my 50 dollars for change of ticket mume amwaje mm. msandi alikuwa captain mm mwenyewe coaches tu me decide wacha tupoe yeah. nikamwambia that's the best decision me make all life here because mm. we are only 180 minutes away from qualifying for cup of nation we've not been there for 12 years yeah. so guys persevere yeah. this one too yeah. twende tupige na togo alafu twende kavad wachezaji wakakubali tukaenda tukapigwa na togo ilikuwa 2 nil half time yeah. yeah. sasa hizo watogo washa neutralize wa brazil na wawili wamekuja na moto game ime after him too nil ah nikaingia kwa dressing room nikamwambia wazee ni nini hii game hata iko kwa iko kwa plan yetu ya kulose mm. but to lose na mabao mabao yeah. tukifika Nairobi watu watakuwa washa lose up na hii team hiyo yeah. tunil imeto mm. and then we enjoy game second half sisi yeah. tunaenda kumalizia watu wa kichinjio kasarani yeah. tuko tunaitaga kichinjio yeah. sawa je sawa sawa sasa ndio tukakuja Nairobi game ya Kavad ushaona game moto yeah hiyo game na kumbuka Onyiso ali save ball moja kwa angle ya 90 degrees pale wale kevadi walikuwa ni wabaya sana alipigwa bola kaenda kaitoa sikizo walikuwa na muita o nyi so aliposave hiyo sasa deno na jana yale kwa super sub kabla niingize deno niliangalia hivi bench na pia naniangalia yuko zile kokokoches akaom Unajua kitu moja ya Kevard hii game yetu ya Kevard ya Nairobi mm. na Kevard kule Kevard kwenyewe prior yeah. hiyo bao ilifungwa the same time kule baraza alifunga 85th minute yeah. hapa Deno alifunga 85th minute yani alipiga mkwaju wengine kuna jamaa aliruka kutoka stadi mpaka chini ku celebrate hiyo bao yeah. nilikuwa kwa hiyo wanju kwa stadi acha 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 i've never felt like that ili pigwa nduki kugwabzia kati kati ya mwaja hiyo furaha yote mimi nilikuwa na uzuni baada ya game kwa nini chachi leo najua ni kwa sijalipo 8 months 8 months ati we ni coach warambe ni wife yangu tu alikuwa anajua na ndio jumumu respect ali ni support 8 months nimenyamaza tu Mm. Then he came up with press conference by the way I'm not the right man to take a ambassador to Tunisia. Juu tafanya kazi gani ya karai? Mm. Lakini the rest is history. Kuna matatizo kwa life na kuna pia the eventually walikulipa. Eventually nililipwa. Yeah. Alafu kutoka sasa coaching to radio. Nikiwa coaches reporters walikuja kuja kuni interview. Yeah. Sasa wakikuja kuni interview mm. kuna Karoradul. Yeah. Kasema Ghost can make a good presenter. Ukiamini Mwenyezi Mungu mambo tu ufanyika. Yeah. Sijui unakumbuka game moja tuliana na Tasca yeah. Brewery huko Tanzania nikawapatia do baada ya kushinda kikombe. Yeah. Nikawapatia hiyo chapa yote. Ikaleta no mengine serious. 2008 hiyo ndio the last time Kenya team imewaisha ishinda Sekafa. Yeah. Eh, Brewery 2008 tuliana Dar es Salaam na na, na, na double M. Wewe 23 and half hours. Wewe yeah. yeah. toka hapa 6 tukafika kesho yake asubuhi. Ah, uh, vijana kushinda hiyo doni ilikuwa nishawaambia hiyo domu kishinda ndo wapatia yote. Yeah. Mm. Hapo tukakosana na jamaa walisema nilichukua unilateral decision kupatia players do. I, I don't regret it mm. kwa sababu si do do si ni yao tu. Yeah. Si ndo wameshinda. Yeah. Yeah, na tukarudi na basi in fact na manga jamaa alikuwa ah rafiki yangu yani mwachukua kombe hivi moja na basi rafiki yangu inakuaje yeah. rafiki zangu bana. <laughs> Hii taska inakuwa vipi rafiki yangu? Eh, Kombe ndio hilo eh, timu ambazo zimeshindwa zimeenda na ndege na nyimbo eh, naenda na basi itakuwaaje? Eh, Kombe ndio maisha. 
So Radul, hiyo yeah. time nikakuja Riasol. Yeah. Radio Jambo. Yeah. Nikaongea siku ya kwanza. Mm. Nikaongea siku ya pili. Yeah. The rest sahi nimeongea 12 years. Ai ai ai. Sio kumemaliza. 12 years. Yeah. <laughs> Na ndaga ni car jokes. Ah nipe nipe. Eh. Yeah. Napatanisho huko sasa mnapata. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, fatanisho. Zile story dasikiaga. Haja habari ya ghost na gini. No, wacha nikwambie chachi. Fatanisho is one thing ambayo pia mimi imeni change mwenyewe kwa sababu fatanisho aswa uaga ni watu wawili wamekosana. Lakini most of it 90 or 85%, 95% ni bibi na bwana. Na ni true life story. Hakunanga yeah. acting pale yeah, na true. ukiangalia zile messages tunapatanga watu wangapi wanataka kupatanishwa yeah. ni wengi sana. The crazy si ushapata ni gani? Eh. Eh. <coughs> <coughs> Kuna pasta. Yeah. Pasta moja mwana mwanamke yeah. alikuwa 55 hapo. Mm. Ataka kupatanishwa na bwanake. Mm. Bwanake alienda akawa msichana mdogo. Eh. Sasa yeye na ni pasta. Eh. Sasa anataka kupatanishwa. Eh. Aka akaongea, akasema eh. mzee amekimbia na msichana nini? Eh. Na mzee akakubali akasema nakubali. Eh. Nimeko na makosa. Eh. Na akasema eh. kusema ukweli eh. hiki tu ina akili. Eh. So mimi niliiteleza nimekubali. Eh. Eh. Sasa akasa, bibi akasema amemsamea. Mm na wanarudiana eh. lakini kitu kinifurahisha sana kwa hiyo patanisho eh. bibi akauliza sasa unaweza ambia bwana yako maneno matamu ya mwisho eh. <laughs> 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 hey. bibi akamwambia aje akamwambia mzee wangu eh. ukirudi eh. tukirudiana eh uta nipe moja ime gamas hiyo hiyo na ile view narudi na hiyo moja ah we are gonna come back all right we we'll take a break see you go to sema na kirwanda tutarudi pale we will be right back after the break time eh tuko tutarudiaga baada ya muda mfupi si one minute tutarudiaga eh ndani ya Churchill ndani ya Churchill show hapa eh. e, Nairobi eh, eh, eh. <laughs> na tuko na hiyo ya coaches eh, tuko tunaongea na makocha yuko eh. na alikuanga kocha eh. awa apere yani eh. APR ya kule Rwanda ndio wanajiita apere apere we be right back don't go away <laughs> thank you so much for coming through Zanetti man get noticed this is all Zanetti Minus kitambi. <laughs> This is all the net. Ama hii ni Obudesco. <laughs> you find all those amazing menswear at the net. Follow them right here for all the best class. All locations for men. The place to be the net. To the world. My name is Muso Tieno, former Rambi Stars captain, former Rambi Stars assistant coach, and now the CEO of Kick Off to Hope. I want to say, I knew Ghost Mule a long time ago when I joined Kenya Glories. That was in 1995. Ghost was a leader, a mentor, and then I ended up meeting with him in the national team. I was under him when he went to the Cup of Nations. I can say that uh, Mule first of all he comes from Islands. Alikuwa anajulikana kama Ghost. That is why his nickname was there. But I think for me na the I've learned a lot from him. First of all as a, as a person. Najua he was like my role model as a coach because when he started coaching under the late uh, coach Tianga, I think he went to Seychelles and Ghost Mule took over as the coach of Kenya Breweries and then from there it was history. But again he's a motivator. He's somebody who I'm always going to look after him as coaching and playing. We have done a lot of things off the football and in the football. We are alumni of Ofa Fajerico. So Mule is, is just a ghost. He's a character on his own. He's, he's, he's a guy who will laugh with you, but when it comes to business, he's always trying to you to work even more harder, at least to do any time your kazi. Ah. 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 Whoa. 
Welcome back to Liberty Academy Training Grounds, coached by former Harambe Stars coach Ghost Mulei. Now, before Twende Kwa Mikwaju ya penalty, Manake Lazma, Niki Mudizo Maswadi Matano, Niki Funga, Anajibu. Ah, Niki Kosa, Mimi Ndio Tajibu. All right, let's see how this goes. Having a great time with the Kenyan top coach and now radio personality, Ghost Mule. And I say, Mekana Ali Kwaizi Fungwa who you? <laughs> in the Gabas, by the way, oh. Liberty Academy in the Michael Lunga, the <laughs> sensation of Michael Lunga Ali Kwana, Chesia Itimu. So, anytime now, Naeza Kuchesa Pro, eh, and Avuta to a Billy Tattoo in the Heavy. Churchill, yeah. which was your happiest moment? Where? My happiest moment? Yes. Uh, Wakati, we did the Malindi show. Wow. Yeah, so... Nikwas Jay and Malindi. So everybody was saying, Malindi ukienda hiyo ita kwangumu hiyo. Ujawai na Malindi kama, kama, kama Churchill ama kama Churchill show? Nil, kama Churchill show. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At that time, uh, season nilikuwa low sana. Ya watali, ya kukwa watu. Industry will go and Yes. Yes. But funny enough, it ended up becoming one of the best shows ah. I've ever done. The best reception show I part of Ale. Malindi. Malindi. Of course, we had uh, uh, Governor 001, uh -huh. Governor King was there. It was our great show. So that's one of my happiest moments. Wow! Hey! So what are you In the Gavas! In the Gavas, do this! Ah, Funga. Up. Up. which is your lowest moment? Yo sikujibu yo. Yo wewe utajibu sasa. Eh eh. Wacha kuweka boli yangu ndumba wewe. Aya. Aya, piga kirimbi. Ah, wewe na. Lowest moment in 1995, when I lost my mom, I was in a football camp. So, I was in a football camp. I was in a football camp. I was in a football camp. I was in I in a football I was in a football camp. I was in a football camp. I was in I was in a football just to honor my mom. So that was my lowest moment in life. Yes. <coughs> yeah, easy. Hiya. Hiya, boss. Hiya. What? So I'll tell you, mentorship. One person you, inspire, you feel inspired. I'm a only coach. Nah, he's doing so well. I'm at the time I end live in Zuri, I'll teach you my diliyako, and you appreciate that. OK? Great. I hope that I give you my hand. Niki sema comedy amoja. Walo ngine wada nirukia. In the gavas, Fernandez. What? Yes. Yes. No, come up on the goalkeeper. Last month we can't handle. Last month we can't handle. This is this is this is this. Last month we can't handle. Zimeisha, ah. Zimeisha, third and third, <laughs> Zimeisha. So yeah, <laughs> I think they are all doing very well, most of them. Okay. They lay out very well. Mm -hmm. I like what uh, most of them are doing. Yes. And uh, while they are to Ligusana, while they are to Chumbua, for Akina Abel, Mtua, Triki, Tichawanjiko, Eriko Mondi. Now what do we find in Vizuri? That's good. Yeah. But which is the one, one, one we don't know who you are. Lamenta, na who you kuakweli? Yani ukimwangalia unasema this is Churchill yeah. mentorship. Yeah. One. 
Wajua, eh, muhimu sana si talent eh? mm -hmm. ni discipline. Yes. Aka kuna discipline moja ngumu sana ni kuamka. Kufanya kazi. Kufanya kazi ya radio you know it's yes. not about talent is mm -hmm. can you wake up? It's a calling actually. Eh, <laughs> it's a calling I say it's a calling. Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, uh, when you look 360 degrees performance nini eh uh, Hamo is doing a good job. Oh, Professor, Professor Hamo. Yeah. In, my in my book. In my book. Ana jaribu sana. In my book. Professor, ukifikiria mahali ya petoka pale na puru, eh? Kutoka show ya kwanza. Yes. Eh? I think he's is really no. doing a good job. Oh, yeah. He's a very and good. Uh, he's a very good yeah, artist. Na, I like na, him. He's very humble and disciplined. Mm. Mm. Na anaogopa God sana. Uh -huh. So hiyo itampeleka mbali sana. No, he can mix music, comedy, mm. nini, alafu mm. mkikutana ni mtu mzima mungwana. Ah. How about you? I have two, many players mm. that have uh, passed through my hands. Mm. Uh, many who have made it mm. as good players. Mm. However, I think one of the best mm. in terms of playing. Uh, currently, mm. I think I'm very proud of mm. uh, Michael Olunga. Mm. Engineer! Engineer. Mm. Uh, humble, mm. down to earth, yeah. and uh, got him when he was a boy, 13 years. Mm. So when you look at, he was able to combine two things, yeah. education and football. It's yeah. not easy to get talent and mm. books going together, of, yeah. of, although today that is the requirement. Michael and Fresha Sana. Then I was a kid, I was a kid, I was a kid, John Baraza for one thing. Yeah. Baraza, amekuwa ni the top scorer kwa Kenya Premier League for four seasons. Yeah. Na sign coach wa Sofa Park. Yeah. So I am so proud sasa zile nafanya commentary yeah. na yeye yuko pale kama coach amekuwa kama top player. Yeah. You just see that and I say God bless all of those guys yeah. have mentored. Lakini yeah. kuna kuna mlama kuna mambo sasa hivi ni coach kule Sweden. Yeah. I'm so proud to see a lot of my players being coaches. Nicolas Muyoti ni coach wa Kakamega Homeboys. Yeah. So when you see them becoming coaches and you used to coach them there's no more joy than that yani na furai sana kuona how wachezaji wetu but one of the players that i really really liked his character when he was on arambi stars is uh, titus mlama yeah. right now ako na academy yake kwa hivyo nikiona pia akifanya mambo yake na furai sana yes discipline now we have a bonus question mm. Mm. <laughs> eh? you are fast heartbreak <laughs> Sasa <laughs> 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 Ah, twende kazi. Angalia mguu eh. Tena ndio mwisho hii. Hapana unitoka kwa live. Hakuna. Unitoka kwa live. Hakuna. <laughs> 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 Ametoka kwa line bana. Ametoka kutoka kwa line bana. Let the ball. Ni ni reunion. Lazima tupaka tufunge hii ni Man U. Eh. Chachi bana. Si tuwe. Bia inaonyesha. Bia inaonyesha vizuri Firimbi, Refa. Haya. Sawa, haramu ilali. Leo talala. Haramu ilali. Leo talala hii ni Man U. Haya. Wacha kuniangalia mguu. Credit is share run. Ah! Manchester United. Ah, 
Ah, umeenda. Nani anivunjaka wewe? Roho ya kwanza. Eh. Wa. Iko musika moja. Iko musika moja. Eh. Ilikuwa kitambo sana. Eh. Alikuwa anaitwa kama mama yangu. Ndo alibarizaga roho yangu. Ndo ulipeleka. Ah, ndo alibarizaga. Alibanya je. Ulipeleka date. Eh. Alafu wanaenda baka wananiambia wanaenda London. Eh. Ah. Nikavunjika moyo, eh. nilikuwa napiga telefoni simpatage. Eh. Nikasema yuko London. Eh. Nikangoja siku moja niko natembea Nakuru eh. na muona. Nikamwambia, "Ah, niko London ya na, 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 na Nakuru?" Eh. Moyo ukatakatika. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, you <laughs> got this. Eh. Wangu naye alikuwa pesa zangu za chips zote. Eh. Pale wimbi. Eh. Ah. Sitaisahau. Ah. Nilitembea na mguu eh? mpaka mpaka <laughs> Island. Eh? eh? Amekula pesa. Mimi anachisha kuku. Serious. Haichisha soda. Eh? eh? Mimi nafikiria na huyu abwimpi. <laughs> <laughs> ah. eh?